Hi everyone, it's Laura here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to alter a digital stamp and turn a pirate into a space pirate. I have used these cute images by Crafting Desert Divas in past projects and colored this pirate both in traditional colors, so to say, for this fun treasure map that I created over here. And I also altered this image to fit with a space-based card and so I turned this pirate into a space pirate and you can see it over here. I have filmed and uploaded video tutorials for both these projects and you will find them linked in the description box as well as at the end of this video. And because I was asked to show how I did create this space pirate, today I'll be showing you the steps I took in order to alter this image. I have gone ahead and colored the traditional pirate of camera and I will be using that as a reference. And here I am showing you that as a first step we need to draw some helmets for the space pirate and for his little furry companion, because obviously you do need a helmet to survive in outer space. I am freehanding the shapes using a pencil and a very light hand because I want to be able to erase the lines completely when I'm done. If you don't feel comfortable with drawing the helmets by hand, you can use any circular object like a circle die for example and just raise it on top of your images. But there is really no need to chase perfection at this point, because by the time you are done, nobody will notice if your circles are not 100% perfect. I will also draw in a little antenna on top of the helmet, because I wanted it to match with other digital stamps that I used on the card. But this step is completely optional and you can skip it if you want. I will be repeating the same steps for the little boy over here and you want to pay attention to where the helmet stands with respect to other objects. So for example it will stand behind the monocular so there is no line going across there but it will stand in front of the sword so there I will have a line. And once I am happy with the result, I am going to use a kneaded eraser and tap it on top of the paper to lighten up the pencil marks. If you have a Copic Safe pen, you can at this stage directly trace your drawing with it and erase your pencil lines, but at the time when I was filming this video I didn't have one, so the next best thing was to first leave a faint pencil line at this stage, color in all the images and only afterwards trace the drawn line with the black felt tip pen. When I am done with drawing in my helmets, I can start coloring the images. I am using Spectrum Noir markers and I am adding the shadows as if the light comes from the top left corner of the screen, so that the shadows will be mostly focused at the bottom right portion of the images. I will play some music while I color parts that I feel are not specific to the space theme and I will pop back in when I'll be taking care of the details that actually made this pirate into a space pirate.
I am using yellows for the lens of the monocular because I want it to look like as if it's some sort of a light emitting device as opposed to the monocular on the traditional pirate where I have a simple glass lens that I colored with light teal blues. And for now I am coloring the heads of the little kid and of the cat as I normally would if they were not wearing helmets and I will be taking care of the helmets later on. I will be using shades of these blue-gray markers to color in the sails, the antennas and the body of the ship because I want them to look like as if they were made of metal. And at the end of the coloring I will be also adding a few details with a white gel pen and with a black felty pen to give the feeling that these elements were built out of metal plates that had been nailed together. And to give a little bit of extra interest to the image, I am coloring the main body of the ship in darker shades of these blue-gray markers. In the same way as I did for the lens of the monocular, I will be coloring the windows of the ship in shades of yellow and this is because I want it to look like as if there was artificial lighting inside the ship. For the helmets I will be using some very light shades of these teal blue markers to color and shade the areas and I will go directly over the faces and the hat of the space pirates. This will tone down the images and will give the impression that the faces are actually standing behind a glass helmet. You just want to be careful not to build up too many layers with the steel blue markers because otherwise they will end up eating the colors that lie underneath. And this is the point where I create the metal plates on the sails and the ship. I am using a ruler and a black pen to draw some horizontal and vertical lines that will represent the edges of the metal plates and I will be repeating this step over the sails and the main body of the spaceship. I am then adding some dots along those lines with the same black pen and these dots will be the nails that hold the metal plates together.
Finally, I am using a white gel pen to add highlights to the nails, the ship, the sails and the helmets and these white details will help convey the feeling of metallic surfaces even more because dark highlights are typical of shiny surfaces like metal and glass. And this is the final result when the space pirate is all colored and done. And I also wanted to show you once again how cool the result is once you put the space pirate in outer space on a card. It really brings everything together. And that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, let me know in the comments below and consider subscribing to my channel. You can visit my blog for the full list of supplies and I'll catch you guys soon with the next one. Ciao!